Hey, how's it going, everybody? It is Thursday, two days before the Folsom tournament. Uh, Thursday morning, I leave tonight right around midnight when my wife gets out of school. And it's, uh, it's gonna be a long drive, eight to 10 hours. And it looks like Friday's my only day to get out on the water. I'm not, not even gonna bring any poles or anything. I'm just gonna go scope around. But today's video is just a quick little uh, behind the scenes of how I get ready for away tournaments when I when I travel you know up and down California Arizona Kentucky Lake Louisiana wherever I've been this is kind of how I've been doing it and uh, you know it's been pretty successful right now I'll show you guys the tackle that I'm bringing and other essential things that I bring and then later tonight I'll, I'll show you guys the rods that I'm gonna bring I haven't really figured that part out yet but Let's flip around and uh, show you guys the tackle and, and some some of the essentials. So <clears throat> these Pelican cases I use for um, a lot of my tackle, a lot of my main tackle that I've that I use. Um, this right here is we I call it the tackle trunk. It's my traveling tackle box. It's uh, almost like a little tackle store, honestly. I have a big fear of forgetting forgetting uh, tackle so I bring a lot um, I would rather bring too much tackle than not enough tackle and I kind of get people kind of laugh at me when I roll in with this big box of tackle but there's never been a point that I've regretted bringing this much tackle so and I'm sure those people that have laughed at me at some point they've wanted to bring something that they didn't so I bring as much as I possibly can and I only use about 5% of it but at the same time if there's ever anything that I need I really don't have to rush out and go buy it at a store I should have it in that tackle trunk but let's get into the the traveling tackle trunk real quick um, so I never have it insanely organized I kind of do soft plastic soft plastics on one side and hard baits on the other side but right now I definitely know it's unorganized I've just been kind of throwing stuff in there but just to give you guys an idea on how I'm preparing for Folsom it's going to be a clear water uh, lake very clear from what I heard about 10 feet 10 to 12 feet and uh, it's going to be a tough fishery so I'll show you guys you know what exactly that I'm going to bring and kind of talk through why I'm bringing it so obviously I bring line just like everybody else um, especially on these traveling tournaments, you definitely are going to need line. Um, right here, that's just your, your standard drop shot box. So, pop it open real quick. Little 8 inch Robo Worms, some Kai Tech stuff, some Easy Shiners, some uh, Shad Shape Worms by Yamamoto, Angler's Choice. Uh, they call those the Kill Shots, Canadian company. Um, real nice little leech bait there. And, uh, you know, just standard drop shot stuff. Nothing too fancy. Um, right here, chatter baits. Um, all, a lot of these boxes, so I'm, I currently, um, I, can't, I can't bring, obviously, all the chatter baits or all the jerk baits or all the crank baits that I have. So a lot of these boxes I built last night. I've been preparing for this tournament for three days with tackle. So... I have a lot of boxes that are empty and a lot of boxes I had to shift around. So some of this stuff, like, I usually don't carry my chatterbaits in this box at all. My chatterbaits are in another box, but these are the chatterbaits that I'm bringing. So a lot of these boxes are kind of new to me. But that's chatterbait box. Jackhammers, Picassos, and Thunder Crickets by Strike King. It's pretty much the only three chatterbaits that I'm comfortable and I have confidence in. I'm comfortable with throwing getting back in it this is uh six inch stick baits half are cinco's and half are gambler lures aces um you know always got to bring some stick baits wherever tournament you're going five inch stick baits same thing mixture of cinco's and gamblers the only two that i'm going to throw um so just colors that i think i'll need june bug black blue green pumpkin and then uh, a white I also have a shad, um, the gray shad color, but that's currently in my life jacket right now. Uh, right here, these are jig trailers. So 
Double tail grubs. This is a little missile baits um, jig trailer that I'm going to throw on one of my jigs. Yamamoto Cowboys, pack of chunks, twin tail grubs, double tail grubs, and then Kitech Easy Flappers. Uh, awesome little flipping bait and jig trailer at the same time. Let's see, lizards. There's some rumors that there's a lizard bite on Carolina rigs out there, a little finesse Carolina rig. So I just threw together a quick little lizard box and a little pre prepped Carolina rig right there. Uh, probably won't end up throwing that honestly just because I'm not really a uh, Carolina rig guy. I don't really have a lot of confidence in it because I don't throw it very often. Okay, then we got what's this stuff? Tubes, little baby brush hogs, Ica. It's just kind of a mixture of some random uh, soft plastics. <clears throat> And then down here, some flukes and some stuff that I could drop shot, some stuff that I could use as chatterbait trailers. Um, those are awesome. By Jackal, hard to find. They don't make them anymore. Uh, let's see, crankbaits. This box I kind of threw together. It's my deeper crankbaits. Um, looks like I've got some 6XDs in there. I think these are the silent, silent 6XDs, 8XD. Um, these are 6XDs with rattles, some 6 cents deep divers, more 6 cents, 10XDs, uh, deep Azumas, those go to 30 feet, another 10XD, Spros. Um, it's just basic deep divers. I'm not sure if I'll be throwing those or not. Um, it's real tough to get five fish on this lake I hear, so I'll probably throw a little bit more compact um, crankbaits deep diving crankbaits somewhat deep diving crankbaits made a box here of Norman DD 22s I can get it open nothing too fancy threw in some crawdad colors on the top and I got some shads with rattles um, I believe these right here are the HDs yep these are all HDs uh, it's a really nice color there especially for clear water I think these are HD silence yeah, just these with silent. Uh, you know, those will dive down to about 17, anywhere from 11 to 17 feet. This box is kind of just a little shallowish mid depth box. Um, these all go anywhere up to 12, 10 to 12. Um, some Strike King, some Imas, um, some old bombers, Duo Realis baits. Skirmish, Normans, Strike King, Six Cent, Spro, um, Strike King again, some old flat bombers, custom painted, Flicker Shad, awesome bait, very underrated. I guess not really underrated since it's brand new, but not a lot of people know that much about it yet. Another deep diving box. Let's see, this one is all crazy. It's a bunch of different companies in this one so we've got bombers here some old bombers little suspended fat free shad um, old 95 classic winner uh, it's an awesome bait caught a lot of fish on this bait I can't believe I still have it more bombers um, these all go anywhere to like 16 12 ish to 16 feet um, See some Strike Kings goes to 18, some deep, some deeper uh, six cents that are smaller, compact. More Strike King stuff, six cents, Berkeley Dredgers, and then some more six cents stuff. Up here I've got Skirmish Bait, Deep Diver goes to about 20 feet, some more Dredger stuff. Custom painted Deep Diving Bombers, another Deep Diving Bomber, not custom painted. Dual Realis G87, awesome bait. Some more G87s down in there. Um, another skirmish bait there. And then some more custom painted G87s. So, just a bunch of random deep divers. Pretty much just all through this together, whatever I could fit in these uh, deep boxes. And obviously, you know, how much am I going to throw of this? Like I said, 5% maybe, but. Again, I'll be comfortable um, knowing that I have a lot of stuff in case I find something. Um, 
right here spinner bait slash uh, buzz bait box obviously buzz bait won't be in play but this is a, uh, a box that I already had built with some spinner baits and buzz baits in it so I just filled it up with spinner baits and finished it off um, every kind of brand spinner bait you could think of is in that box and I'll be throwing the spinner bait that's going to be tied on I think that's going to be a player uh, Matt Folsom so that'll be on there Getting back to it, this is another little drop shot box, a little more finessious drop shot. Finessious, I don't know if that's the word it is now. Um, some older Robo Worm stuff from way back in the day. Um, some ring worms from Bass Pro, I don't even think they make those anymore. Little 3 inch Cinco, little Reapers, uh, Gamblers, uh, drop shot bait. Uh, more little drop shot baits, you know, little leeches. All stuff that can definitely be a factor, as much as I hate to say it, uh, the drop shot is probably going to be something that I'm going to have to throw. And if you guys follow the channel, you know that I hate it. But it is what it is. This is a uh, little flick shake slash skinny Cinco box. I just threw this together. Um, and then I threw in some zoom finesse worms there. Um, you know, nothing too fancy. Could be a player, you never know. I won't be afraid to throw it. Little gambler easy box there. Bunch of gambler lures. Um, some reaction innovation stuff up top. I think that's the skinny dipper. And, you know, just good for the Alabama rigs. Good for underspins. Good for jig heads. Just productive little swim baits I've got confidence in. This is an old Bass Pro Shop shaky head box. Um, got the shaky heads right there and then the worms right there. Nothing too fancy, um, but it works. Uh, some more swim baits. These are Bastrix, some Young Money Minnows in there, a random Yamamoto Hardtail. I don't even know why that's in there. But uh, just some more hollow body style swim baits. Nothing too fancy. Some swim bait hooks here. Um, a giant 7 inch Cinco here. Uh, I'll probably won't be throwing the 7 inch. That's made by Gambler, but I, uh, I don't even know why that's in there. But uh, I love throwing the 7 inch. That's, that's weird. And then this is a uh, Reactions Innovations Flirt Worm. All a bunch of flirt worms. Great drop shot bait. Really underrated drop shot uh, bait. It doesn't get thrown. I'd open it up, but that box is a pain in the butt to open and close. So, again, those are hooks. Uh, more hooks. Little paddle tail swim baits. Um, this is more like my finessier swim baits. I don't even really call them swim baits. 316s, knockoff trash fish, a little bait that I won in a contest here. Um, some A6 inch trash fish there, and a trash fish bluegill. Um, these are little live target goby baits. Might be a player if I drag them on the bottom, a little finesse uh, spinning rod. Um, Matt Lure, some more 316s, really underrated swim baits here, and some more 316s up top. But yeah. Little swim baits might be a factor, definitely. You've got clear water, you've got bass moving up. Definitely can see myself throwing it. This is just a random box of all a bunch of stuff hooks, nail weights, uh, blades, all sorts of different stuff in there. Let's, uh, lipless, every kind of lipless you could ever imagine is in this box. I threw this together um, last night. Six cents. Duo, Cotton Cordell, um, old Excalibur stuff, Booyah, um, obviously Rattle Trap, Strike King, uh, Lucky Craft, Jackal, Damiki, pretty much every brand you could think of is in that box. Um, who knows? I might might uh, might throw the lipless around a little bit, and uh, that does it for the tackle trunk. And then I've got some other stuff I'll show you real quick. Let's see what else do we have in here? Just some line, and I think probably real snot. Yeah, real snot. If you don't know what real snot is, look it up. Great line conditioner. Um, something that I think everybody should, should use. This is just a box of paddle tails, biospawn, and uh, swing impacts from Kitech. Every kind of size you can imagine is in there. Obviously, the Kitech is always something that you're going to bring to a tournament. Um, down here. We've got the little spoon box, six cents giant mag spoon there, and then 
some dust spoons and some uh, Demiki spoons and some ice jigs, some cast masters, just in case I uh, find some schools deep and I can jig down on them. Um, a rig box. I'll definitely be throwing an A rig out there for you guys, those of you that fall. You know I hate throwing the A rig because I suck at it, but it's something that I hear gets bit at Folsom, so I will be throwing it. I've got umbrellas, G funks, and Picassos in there. It's pretty much the only three A rigs that I throw. Um, they're all proven. I just haven't proven that uh, I know how to use them. And here we've got uh, these. What are these? Oh, these are uh, chatterbait trailers. All sorts of different chatterbait trailers. Um, just a quick little chatterbait trailer box they threw together. Uh, then we got like extra spare hooks in here. Um, and then. Bass Mafia money bag has all sorts of stuff in it. Everything you could imagine real quick. Little dark sleepers, 2.8 Kitex, 3.3s, 3.8s. Um, jig trailer stuff, extra fishing line, robo worm neds. Um, some more Zakos or Zakos, however you pronounce it, for a little eight pound test there. Just all sorts of different stuff. I always bring in my kayak. I have the black pack, new canoe black pack. So let's see what I put in here. We've got, uh, this was a little box I threw together that's got um, just all sorts of different baits. This is probably gonna be a real key player. Um, so up top here we've got Flicker Shad. I told you guys about that bait already, really underrated. Um, that's the new Azuma bait, which is almost like a, uh, that's almost like a um, wiggle wart style. You've got a rock crawler that'll probably be a big player mega bass deep six that'll probably be tied on honestly to my uh deep my deep cranking rod um deeper cranking rod at least for Folsom. And then you've got some spros some deeper medium diving spros some normans um uh, little medium divers this is the new strike king i don't remember what they call this it's a shad something but you know a little finesse um a little finesse bait they just made goes to about eight feet duo realis awesome underrated crankbait m6511 a is what they call that great great bait um, then we've got some crevice critters for those of you that are followers of the channel you know that i'm a huge crevice critter fan i've caught some monsters on it um, tackle drunkers so this is all kind of like my hunting baits that are in here a lot of my hunting baits that are in here tackle drunker awesome little bait curve 55 by six cents i have a ton of these i love them uh, 3XD, that will probably be a player. I'll probably have that uh, thrown around. Obviously, you guys see I beat that one up pretty good. Um, it's got some teeth marks in it, that's for sure. This is the new River to Sea. I'm definitely, actually, instead of the Mega Bass, I'll probably have the new River to Sea bait tied on. I have it in two different colors. So the other color is out because I'm ready to tie it on. But that is their uh, new by River to Sea, the Tactical Bass and Crank bait. Some Spros, um, the little square bills, the little Johns. Six cents crush or uh, flat 75, awesome bait. Um, that's a little, what is it, 5XD? Um, Strike King, a little 5XD. Um, the Bill Lewis M6R crankbaits. That is the Evergreen uh, Flat Force, awesome bait there. And then I've got some of my favorite um, crevice critter, or not crevice critter, skirmish baits, square bills. Um, that's a Lucky Craft bait, dives four to six, awesome little bait, um, little finesse crank bait there, some more um, square bows by Skirmish Baits, and then some more six cents Crush 55. So kind of a little random box I threw together with just all sorts of different stuff in it, but it's definitely going to be something that I will probably have out on the water with me um, no matter what. So throw some of this stuff back real fast and kind of just move on. Fix that up later. See what else do we have? It's in here. Um, oh, a little jig box. I kind of th threw this together last night. All sorts of different jigs are in here, but a lot more of my like finesse style jigs are in here. Um, these will probably be a player. That's the new Iconelli uh, by Missile Baits. It's a little micro football head. That's going to be tied on for sure. And then I'll probably have another one with the little Kitech half ouncer on there. Um, that's their model two, the version two football jig. Um, just 
I'm probably going to be throwing some finesse um, jigs, none of the, my big jigs, just because, like I said, it's supposed to be tough out there. So, no jig box. I'm definitely going to have at least one or two jigs tied on. This is a little Ned Rig box. Obviously, the Ned Rig will be a key player out there, I'm sure. Just basic Ned Rig stuff, nothing too fancy. Some TRDs, some battle bait stuff, some extra wide gap hooks some rhinos by uh, picasso which probably is what i'm going to tie on um just basic basic drop or basic battery box nothing too fancy there uh, it looks like crankbaits again i love crankbaits this is a wooden box my wooden crankbait box um a lot a lot of money in this box I, I know you may not think that by looking at it but a lot of money is in this box a lot of this stuff is kind of custom, homemade, built, built, uh, you know, garage built stuff. Um, stuff that I, I kind of won't even really talk about that much just because I don't want competition in getting it because I already have enough competition trying to get it. A lot of this stuff is very hard to buy, but obviously you guys will notice the uh, Rapalas that I got, a bunch of DT6s, DT6 and Demon, Caribbean Shad, a um, little green crawdad color. A um, bunch of custom made stuff, PH lure stuff, uh, some more custom stuff. Uh, DT10, I believe. These look like DT14s. Yep, DT14s here. And then uh, some more just garage built custom stuff that. Um, great baits, but I'm going to keep those ones a secret because they're hard to get and they're expensive. Hopefully, my, watch, my wife doesn't watch my videos. I know she doesn't, so I'm safe. All right, uh, jerk bait box I threw together real quick. Man, that looks like crap. Super unorganized. Uh, Jackal re-range stuff, some Rapala stuff, um, Vision One Tens, some more or some Lucky Craft. Uh, that's a Six Sense Provoke. More Lucky Craft, Vision One Ten, little Stacy Nineties, little Spros. Um, you know, just kind of clear-ish. Besides that crazy orange one up there but clear water that I honestly think I'll be throwing the drop shot or the the jerk bait a lot because um, you know the clear water and it's just that time of the year right now just got to work it really slow and the last box is a little drop shot box um, morning dawn is supposed to be a big player out there robo worm robo worm robo worm Robo worm, um, more robo worms, holographic uh, robo worms. I don't even know if they make these anymore. They're super old. Um, Smalley smashers, more robo worms. Uh, I think they call those alive shads. I, I love these little alive shads. Um, you know that that's probably my favorite color right there. I forgot what it's called, but it's a great little bait. That pretty much does it. Um, I've had some stuff that I've kind of been throwing in the the kayak drawer, the new kind of, uh, drawer. That's just some more deep, uh, deep crankbaits, a spoon, a little net rig, S waivers. Um, obviously, it's not organized. I just quickly threw some stuff in there. That's a uh, spinner bait made by Battle Baits. Awesome bait. Jackhammer. Another jackhammer. Some of those Gobi live targets. What else? Jig heads, guppy heads. JT Kinney's Magnet with a uh, Gambler Lures Ace cut down on that thing. That, that might be a player, honestly. Um, so, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for tackle that I bring. Um, may seem like a lot to some people. It may not seem like a lot to other people, but for me, it's always worked out. It's, um, you know, the tackle trunk is, is just something that I like. It's got wheels. It's big. Um, so it's it's heavy, but with those wheels I can wheel it around anywhere I want and I find myself going to the tackle trunk all throughout these away tournaments and just You know setting up new rigs and things like that as for rods and things like I said, I haven't made that yet, but uh, I Will get back to you guys tonight on this video and I will show you guys what I got going on with the rods These are all the rods that I will be bringing these are the ones that made the cut so try to get through them really fast what do we got? That is a little Kitek finesse jig with a little pack of chunk, black blue. Definitely gonna be a player. Spinner bait, 
Um, if that looks familiar to some of you, that's the Accent one, very similar to the one Jacob Wheeler just won the MLF on. I've had it for a while, great little spinner bait. I'm gonna put a trailer on there, but not yet. Probably put a 3.8 uh, Kitek trailer, fat impact on that. Another little micro jig. Um, that's the that's the new Ike one that I was telling you guys about. It comes with two per pack. And uh, I'll put the little Missile Baits trailer that I showed you guys earlier. It's a little crawdad trailer. It's for the micro stuff. A-Rig. That's the Picasso A-Rig. It's all, it's all hidden right now. So you won't get to see it. What do we got here? This is... Uh, that's going to be a little Kitek, 2.8 Kitek. I'm going to drag around on a little finesse rod made by Dunamis. They're not, a, they're not around anymore, but great little rod. Great little finesse rod. That is the Ned Rig. That's the Picasso. I think the Rhino Head is what they call that. So big player, big, big player probably. Um, never used this rod yet. I've had it for a long time. It's the Ike series. It's made for cranking. So I'm going to throw probably a 14, 10 to 16 footer on this rod. Haven't tied it on yet. I don't know what crankbaits I want to use. Crankbaits are my jam, but I, I take forever picking which ones I want to throw. So all these crankbait rods I'm about to show you, none of these crankbaits tied on are, are, are what I'm going to throw. This is another rod. This is a uh, square bow rod, so I haven't got one tied on that rod yet. Another little square bow rod. Secret little square bow bait. Um, I don't know if I'll be throwing that one or not. Another uh, medium diving crankbait rod. That right there has got the Berkeley uh, flat side. Or frit side, frit side crankbait. Newer bait, awesome bait. This is my big heavy crankbait rod right now. It's got an 8XD on it. That will not be on there come tournament day. Put something else on there. Jerkbait rod. Uh, if you watch my lay, or yeah, jerkbait rod. Yep, that's got the uh, Vision 110 plus one. That's probably going to stay on there actually. And, uh, I think that's the vision. Yeah, vision 110 plus one there. And then a Cinco rod, um, stick bait rod. That's my version of throwing a stick bait. Go big or go home, seven incher. Uh, giant, giant stick bait, but for uh, uh, some swim bait action, give you a little shot of that. Some four boxes of big, expensive swim baits there. But that's pretty much it. I mean, that's all that I'm gonna show you guys. But as you guys can tell, Tackle prep, I take it pretty serious. I bring way too much stuff every single tournament. This is my style, this is how I do it. I love doing it, I enjoy being out here and doing it. The next video after this one will be probably tournament day. I don't think I'm gonna film the, the little pre-fish that I'm gonna do on Friday because I probably won't be fishing at all. So, But again, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Let's hope all this prep pays off. Let's hope I can at least get a limit because in this tournament, that will be the goal. Just get a limit. So. Again, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.